Mister Nasty Poo, what's up? Huh? Sissy. I'm gonna call him Fat Man. Cody had noticed some junk lying about the prison. With the help of the animals, he fashioned a wooden tool with a hook on the end. Slowly, carefully, they tried to remove the keys from their place on a nail. The first time they tried, they missed. It's okay. Let's try again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Easy does it. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 Sound of the commotion, a flap at the bottom of the prison door sprung open. Joanna leaped into the room. She grabbed the hole, holding the keys, and smashed it into the seat. The smirking lizard returned the keys to the nail and swaggered out. Now they knew Joanna was just outside the door. Cody and the others paced the dungeon in silence. Once again, Frank grabbed his head in his thinking pose. Search for the missing boy. 
His backpack was found near Crocodile Falls, and local rangers believe he was yet another victim of crocodile attack. The same message boomed over the radio in the bleachers' quarters. The poacher leaned back in his chair and put his feet up, grinning from ear to ear. Authorities once again warn residents to use extreme caution. You think you're pretty smart, don't you, Al? Like smarter too.
She's dropped the keys and dropped the... Four. 